Well, hello again, and welcome to this Alabama adventure. Now, today I went Roman rule Alabama, and uh, I was a, it was an Alabama adventure today. It's, it's been an all-day ride. But anyway, uh, what I had to do, I'll just tell you what was going on right quick so you'll know what was going on. I got up this morning, and I had to go down to Ellick City. Now, that's Alexander City is the real uh, pronunciation of the word and everything, but everybody around here just calls it Ellick City. Had to go down there today, and uh, after I got down there and got done what I had to go do, I uh, swung back through a little park over there. And uh, the reason I wanted to go through this park, it's actually called the Charles Bailey Sportsplex. They uh, have their football, uh, Alexander City has their football stadium and all that out there. And they have a lot of exhibits in this park. I didn't do very much of the park. What I wanted to show you was some log cabins. They had about four log cabins down there uh, last time I was down there. And there's several log cabins around here that are getting in pretty bad shape. And a week or so ago, I went by one of those log cabins and it was gone. I don't know if it fell in, rotted down, got burned, or what happened to it. Hopefully, somebody got it and uh, they moved it to like some library's lawn or something like that somewhere on down in uh, Chambers County. But even that was where it was at. Today, we were in Tallapoosa County most of the day. Uh, we, we went into about three or four counties. I say we talking about me and you and uh anyway that there was what we did on this uh uh roman rule alabama that we made today but anyway i do want to show you some log cabins down that way some of them are going to be new some uh, one of them one of them's new uh, most of them are there's no telling how old these things are but uh anyway what i was talking about uh before i got sidetracked there i went into the park down there where they had these cabins and, th and those cabins are gone and uh, I, I didn't get the video of them, but luckily, the last time I was down there, I did make some pictures of those cabins, and I believe I've got them right over here on a, uh, uh, a disc. I'm going to look in just a minute as I put this video together, and if I can find the pictures of those old log cabins that used to be in Charles Bailey Park, I'm going to show you those. What, what it was, those were cabins in the area, not only in uh, Alexander City or the Tallapoosa County area, Anybody that had a uh, log cabin that wanted to, to donate to this park so it would be uh, preserved and everything for people to see for years to come on, that's what a lot of people did, and they moved these cabins in there. I don't know if they took them all apart or if they just moved them all on one truck, at, uh, uh, each cabin on one truck at one time, or how they got them in there. But I'm going to see if I've got those pictures. Hopefully I do, and hopefully I get them on here. Anyway, uh, I, as I came back through Tallapoosa County, I went down a road where uh, my uh, uh, mother and her parents and uh, all the way up the line to my grandmother's grandparents. Uh, they, they have actually lived in uh, that part of the country down there that long, and uh, now they're all spread out, and uh, I can't keep up with all my family members now. But what I want to show you, and I did get a little video, of it. it's not real good because the road had kind of grown up, but the old house is in still pretty good shape out there. I want to show you the house that my grandmother's grandparents lived in. And that would, gosh, that would be over 100 years ago now. That, that would have been back in the uh, 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 early 1800s. But uh, they have sort of kept the old house up, and uh, it still looks pretty good. You can tell it's an old house. But I'll show it to you a little bit later on, and I got a little story to tell about it when we get down there. Whew, about out of breath now. But anyway, let's get on to this Alabama adventure uh, we'll, we'll we'll start off in alexander city and i'm not sure where we wound up this afternoon but we finally wound up here back at the shack and now from the tail end of the appalachian mountain chain in the heart of the south this is alabama adventures okay now i wanted to get you a little quick shot of this sign we're in uh, alexander city Alabama and uh, they have a very nice park down here. They have done some changes lately and I thought there were several There used to be several old log cabins in here and uh, they've done away with them for some reason But anyway, this is uh, kind of over on the back way to come into the park. It's not on the main uh, Alabama 22 out there, but anyway, this is a little side road to the back entrance I guess easier for me to get in and out, but anyway, let me uh, move on and we'll uh, see what they've got in there Okay, and located right next to the entrance to the uh, park is uh, the Bill Nichols State Veterans Home. I wanted to show you that real quick. We're not going to go in or anything like that. I'm just going to show you the sign so you kind of have an idea if you get down this way of what all you'll be looking for. 
let me walk right on around here and uh, there's all kind of uh, landscaping and that type of stuff. You can't hardly see the building for uh, magnolia trees. But anyway, this is uh, the Bill Nichols uh, Veterans Home down here. Very, very nice place, I'm told. But uh, let me see if I can get a little bit better shot of it walking on around here for you. There we go, that, that's a little better. That'll kind of let you know what it looks like. Uh, just, uh... Okay, I want to get this picture of this big rock right here that they left for uh, decorative purposes, I'm sure, down here. And uh, we're inside the uh, Charles Bailey Park, I believe is what it's called. And of course, we got somebody that just was having a fit to get on camera and get on YouTube today. So anyway, maybe we got them. But I did want to show you this uh, as you come into the uh, park down here. I'll uh, see if we, uh, there's another rock. There's a real good looking rock right on up the road right here. Some of you who do oil paintings and stuff like that, like I used to do years ago, might enjoy some of these uh, scenes from down here in Alabama to uh, paint, especially if you're uh, a long way from Alabama and not able to get down here. Let me go on down here and get this other rock real quick. All right, let's see what we can do. And uh, this rock right here kind of hangs out almost into the road, but anyway, it's a good looking rock here that they have left for uh, some decorations and that type of stuff down here to make a park look good. Anyway, uh, we'll move on to something else. Okay, now, uh, one thing I want to show you is this old fire truck. I don't know if we can pick up too well here behind this glass or not, but I'm going to try. Maybe that picked up pretty good. They've got some other equipment, old time uh, firefighting equipment here at uh, this particular e exhibit. Okay, now this is a uh, log cabin that's in uh, the park down here. You know, it must have been an old uh, uh, store building at one time. It's got a Coke sign and a gas pump out there in front of it, as you can see. Anyway, that's a very nice looking old log cabin or log store building. I want to get you this shot of this little uh, log cabin that looked like one that somebody's made real recent. But anyway, uh, got the motor racing there a little bit, but anyway, you just have to overlook me. I just wanted to get you a little shot of that little log cabin. It's a real nice looking like little workshop, or I guess you could convert it into a house. All right, this is an old log cabin I wanted to show you of all the, let me fan around the woods there just a little bit. Of all the log cabins that I know of, this is probably my favorite one. It's a very uh, well-built old log cabin. Those are some big timbers on one end, and we'll walk right up here where you can see the fireplace or the uh, a chimney. And we're a couple of both cedar trees out here in the front yard. That, I guess they've been there for no telling how long. Anyway, I thought you might like to see this old log cabin. And, uh, has a little room built on the back end of it back there. But anyway, we'll get a shot from this side of it. Now 
man, I wanted to show you this old uh, church building. It's been here for a long, long time, but uh, it used to just be natural wood. It was a real good looking old building, and somebody come along and whitewashed it and just ruined the looks of it to me. Uh, you know, I like stuff left natural as it was when it was uh, built by the uh, original people that built it, but uh, it really ruined the looks of this church. But they may have done it to try to uh, preserve it a little bit longer, but it uh, looked to me like they could have took a varnish or clear coat or something and put on the wood and would have been a whole lot better than what they got. Just my opinion, just my opinion. Okay, I'm just going to try to get this one as we sort of go down the road right there. That's an old log barn right there. And then right down there behind it's a real old uh, camper trailer. Now this is not a log cabin, but it's just an old uh, barn that I've always liked. And I made a picture of this barn a long time ago. And uh, back when I, as I said earlier, when I was doing oil paintings, I uh, painted this old barn one time. I uh, uh, took some other pictures I had made and put together and had a nice tree and I think I had a lake out there in the background or on the side or something. I don't remember. I sold the painting years ago, but anyway, there we go. Nice red vehicle I had to get on, but anyway, that, that's I want to get you a little quick one. shot of this sign right here. I know this is a, a new sign. It's Brooks Road and the intersection of Old Dutch Road. Going right back up here to show you an old house place, and uh, I just wanted to sort of let you know where we were. Okay, I'm probably not going to get a real good shot of this uh, house right up here. The county's let the right away of the road grow up where you can't hardly see it. But anyway, the reason I wanted to put this on real quick is this is the house that my grandmother's grandparents lived in many, many years ago now. And I'll tell you a little something about my, I'll have to figure out how many greats it is in just a minute. But anyway, my grandmother's grandparents lived in this particular house. And the reason I was showing you Dutch Road is they live on uh, Dutch Road. And I'll tell you also why. And if you can see that old big oak tree out there in the back, you can tell that it's been here for a long, long time. Let me walk right back down here, but I don't know if I'm gonna get a better shot of it or not. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to show you this old, this is an old, old house right here. Uh, would have to, pro probably one of the first built in uh, this part of the country down here with my, uh, going back that uh, particular far in uh, my uh, ancestry or whatever you want to call it. But I believe the house at one time was painted a, a, a barn red. Okay, now I want to break in here real quick and uh, tell you a little story about this house and my uh, grandmother's grandparents. Uh, she was a, a, a Dutch woman, was what my grandmother said, and she's told me her name, and I cannot remember it over the years. I should have written it down, and that's why if you're watching these and uh, some old person's telling you something you want to remember it, you need to write it down. There's a lot of stuff that I wish I had written down at my grandparents and other old people told me back when I was young. I, I did write down a lot of it, but a lot of it I didn't, and I just have to try to remember it now. But anyway, what I want to tell you about, and let's see how many greats, that would be about three great-grandmothers back up the line, I guess. Uh, as, as I said, she uh, was, was uh, a Dutch said she had real long blonde hair and she always wore it in the braids like some of the old pictures you see of uh, people uh, that uh, that uh, were Dutch. Also, and my grandmother had these for a long time and I don't know what happened to them. Of course, after my grandparents died and stuff got divided up and some stuff got thrown away and I sure hope these didn't. I hope somebody got them. But my grandmother had her shoes and said she always wore wooden shoes like you see in some of the pictures and I'm not trying to stereotype anybody or be racist or anything like that but that's just the way that it was back then that's what people wore and that's how they look and uh whenever she came to this country uh she 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 was Dutch and uh as I said my grandmother said she could remember working out in the uh, yard the flower garden or working in the uh, vegetable garden whatever and she always wore wooden shoes also one other thing my grandmother gave me uh she said uh, this particular picture this was a, uh, a tea pitcher, and she said that this belonged to her grandmother, who was Dutch, and uh, I have held on to it for many years, and uh, I don't know what will happen to it whenever I'm dead and gone. But anyway, that, that was just something else that I wanted to share with you real quick about uh, uh, our Roman rule Alabama today. All right, so I'm going to hang the camera out the window one more time and to get a picture of this uh, cow pasture, and uh, it's a very nice house. Right up there on that hill, 
it's sort of hidden behind the trees and everything but uh, thought you might want to look at some cows on a pretty sunny day like this and the road going up through there winding we're going to stop right up there on top of the hill and try to get a picture of another uh, old log barn I uh, pulled on down the hill just a little ways and want to get you a little better shot of that uh, nice house up there and you can see some rocks uh, extending out over the creek down there uh, and uh, of course the cows that's a nice uh, picture to me would be a good picture to paint if you could see it all I know I can't get it all in the viewfinder but that would be a very good picture to, to paint right there alrighty I wanted to show you this real quick while we're out here in the country and not a lot of traffic coming by this is a power line coming right off of uh, the dam down at uh, Lake Martin. I was trying to remember what it was called there for a minute, but anyway, I thought you might want to see that. Since we're out just roaming rural Alabama today, and uh, let you see a little scenery around. All right, I want to get you a little shot of this old barn here. It don't look like it's going to be here very much longer. We'll walk down the road just a little way. Uh, could have been one that uh, my uh, grandmother's grandparents helped build or that they saw back uh, before they uh, moved out and passed on and everything. But I thought you might like to uh, see this old log barn right here in uh, the woods in the background. And let me get you this old house place. It had uh, three fireplace or chimneys. Probably had more than three fireplaces, but uh, the old house is gone a little bit. Is out there behind that uh, chimney on the uh, right, right there. But it's uh, just about a thing of the past. Anyway, I had uh, pulled off fixing to leave, and I no I did notice that there were some John quills blooming in this yard. And uh, as I said in a video a few days ago, that was uh, about the only flowers I guess people used to have a long time ago and they planted them in the yard and these things have been coming up every year and there's a <clears throat> little patch right right on out there these things have been coming up every year for I know a hundred years but how, how old this old house would have to be but uh, it just makes you wonder who planted them and uh, what kind of people they were and what kind of problems they had in life and uh, what they enjoyed but anyway, I'll, I'll let you see this old house place because now you can see the old uh, end of the house there, a little bit of what's left. But kudzu and uh, time is uh, taking care of it. Okay, now we're heading on in and uh, somebody's building a uh, new log cabin right here. And uh, I thought we'd get a little quick shot of it right quick. But uh, I'm sure this is what uh, they used to call them uh, kits when I was in the uh, carpenter business and built uh I don't know, maybe two or three log cabins I was in on building, but uh, we we ordered these things and uh, they come pre-cut and uh, we just put them together. But uh, anyway, it's going to be a nice looking little place up here whenever he gets it uh, completed and everything. He's got a, a pasture there for a front yard. And, uh, I see he's got some old cars. I may try to come up here and see who it is and see if we can video some of the old vehicles. That looks like an old Volkswagen van sitting out there. But anyway, he's got an old outbuilding and a very very nice tree in the background back there but anyway just thought I'd, I'd put that on the video with the log cabins okay now I want to show you this old log cabin this log cabin now is owned by the town where I uh, live and uh, they've moved it on one of the lots that the town owns gonna to make a like a tourist center a welcome center uh, is what's uh, been talked about but I did want to show you the old log cabin I could uh, tell you a story or two on it it uh, sat over here in uh, the other side of town ever since it was built and then uh, it finally got moved to town. Anyway, let me swing around to show you the town right quick. We got somebody coming through that said uh, they saw me doing a video and had to get on. People people like to do that. But uh, that that brick building there is a very old building. It was one of the first buildings that uh, came to town in the uh, downstairs used to be the post office. And this big brick building you see here was a, a big uh, a hotel at one time. It had a, uh, where that uh, roof is over the sidewalk, it used to be the uh, uh, a, a, a balcony, I was trying to think of the word. And then it had a roof over the top that came over the, uh, over both uh, where it is now and then over the balcony up there. But 
It's a very nice hotel. They said at one time, I, I could tell you some stories on it, and it's supposed to be haunted. But anyway, let's uh, try to bring a video on to a close. I got one more uh, log cabin I want to show you. Okay, now the wind. Okay, now the winds went to blowing over here, and uh, it may pick up on the mic a little bit. But anyway, I wanted to show you this old log cabin. This is over at uh, Southern Union College. That's located here where I live, and there's a good shot of the chimney and uh, that type of stuff. And I have painted this building right here. I don't know how many times on saws, on rocks, on just all kinds of stuff that people would uh, want uh, this particular cabin where they went to college or because they lived here or something. They, uh, and as you can see in the background, it's a very nice place, but there's always a tree in the way. And I don't know why loggers don't cut trees out of the way that, that need to be cut, but uh, that's in the way of my video. But you can see that there's a big lake, and of course, here's uh, part of the college uh, over here. But anyway, this is a, uh, I'm not sure what this thing's used for now. But anyway, we'll walk around it a little bit and I'll show you the backside. Give you a shot of that lake out there while we're headed on around. But uh, this this cabin's been here, I believe, ever since uh, Southern Union has been here, which it had a different name at the time when it was first built. But uh, this cabin has, uh, well, it hadn't always been here. I'll tell you a little story on that when we get back to the shack in a little bit. Here's the uh, back side of the cabin and porch and uh, entrance in there into it. But uh, anyway, I'll just give you a little fan right quick of the big lake out there. And we shall head on back to the shack and I'll finish up the video. Alrighty boys and girls, we made it back. We're winding on down. I am gonna tell you, there was a lot of stories on some of these old cabins and some of these places we went through today that I could tell you, and I'll probably put them on videos later. But I am going to tell you one about the little cabin over at uh, Southern Union College. Uh, the cabin had been there since uh, the uh, college came into being many, many, I, I'm not sure how many years ago. It was a long time ago now. But it was called uh, Bethlehem College when it was uh, first uh, started over there, and then later on the name was changed to Southern Union. But anyway, what I want to tell you about the little cabin real quick is uh, it had been there ever since the first day that the college opened and everything. And uh, then over time, we got, another, we got another dean over the college over there. And because this cabin was old and looked bad and didn't go along with the modern way that the college should look because they were doing some remodeling over there, he put the cabin up for sale and uh, wanted it out from over there, and uh, which they did. They put it up for auction, and I believe a lady, either in Chambers or Tallapoosa County, one, bought the uh, cabin because she was uh, an uh, alumni over there. She had been to college over there and uh, had uh, graduated, and she didn't want the little cabin torn down or burned up, which was what this guy wanted to do. If they didn't sell it and sell it quick, he was just going to have it bulldozed down and burned it up. And I just cannot figure out why people like that want to uh, destroy history. And that type of stuff. That thing had been there since the college was built. And uh, he rolls into town and going to take over and do everything his way. But he didn't last too long. People uh, around didn't like him. And they got rid of him. They should have tarred and feathered him and run him out on a rail. Is exactly what should have been done to him. But as soon as they got rid of him and we got a new uh, college dean over there, then uh, this lady contacted him and said she still had the cabin. Uh, they, had, they had moved it to some of her property that she still had the cabin, and if Southern Union wanted it back, she would donate it back. And that's what happened. And that's the, uh, it, it has been moved about two or three times uh, in its uh, lifetime, and now it sits uh, next to the uh, College Lake, which I'm very proud that it's left alone and it's sitting where it's at, and people over there now are wanting to take care of it. Anyway, that's just my opinion, but I just don't like a history done away with. Never have, never will, and uh, that's just the way it is. And if you like it, you like it, and if you don't, you don't. But anyway, I'm going to bring this video to a close, and I do appreciate you watching. Uh, Alabama Bigfoot Society is run completely out of pocket. If you can make a donation, we would uh, certainly appreciate that so I can keep riding doing these videos. If you like this video, give us a like. If you like what we're doing down here, subscribe to the channel. And I guess with all that being said, as Hank Williams used to say, good Lord willing and the creeks don't rise, I'll see you next time.